Hello and welcome back to the making of the farmhouse. In today's video I'm going to be making the roof. And I'm going to start off with a simple plane. And I'm just going to go ahead and bring that into place. I want it just about here. Then I'm going to go into wireframe mode and then into vertice. Put one vertice that side and the other that side. I'm going to bring that right the way down to about here. Come to the side view and bring that into place. Just making sure that it's in there and the top as well. So I want that to be about there. Also going to make sure that the roofs line up. Which they currently don't. So I'm just going to line that up. Just makes the whole process a little bit easier. So now that we have that in, that's our first start. And I can go ahead and duplicate this and press R and then Z 180 to rotate it and bring that back. So I just want to make sure that this is in the correct space. Just pop it in like that. Now what I do want to do is with this beam, I'm going to go ahead and do that to surface. And I'm going to bring that up. And then with this side, I'm going to bring that out. Just so it overhangs, just a little. So that is the top of the roof. I'm going to do the same with this as well. So I'll just bring it up like so. And then I'm going to make sure that overhangs at the front just a little. May bring it up just a little bit more. That should be fine. Now for the back one of these, I am going to need to make that a little bit lower than the front. So I'm just going to select that and make it a little bit lower to about there. Because we're not going to see it. Of course it needs to come in a little bit and in a little bit more. Just like that. And let's see if I can extend this just to there. So there we go. So we've got a nice little guide there. So now with the front bit selected, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to do two cuts. So one either side. And then I'm going to come into wireframe and then vertex. And I'm going to bring those just in line, just here, just there. So that's how it looks like that. And for the back, I need to do a cut, just one. So when we bring these all together, there's something for those to kind of ta attach on to. So back into my vertice mode here, and I'm going to merge those at center. And then I'm going to delete this face here, and select this bit, these two edges here. I'm going to come into top view, I'm going to extrude along the Y, and I'm going to bring them to about here and then straighten them up making sure that that's at zero just so I know that's straight and I'm going to bring it just to here just like that 
And I will bring them out a little bit more. So I can come that side. And I'm going to bring those out a little bit more as well. Just to about there. You're not going to see that inner one from the outside. So again, I'm going to select those two edges, come into the top, and once again extrude along the y-axis. But this time come right the way into, here, into the beam here. And just make sure it's lined up. So now we have a fairly decent roof. It is going to be two different textures, but we'll go ahead and do that in a bit. So just do a quick save and of the video as well. And now I can go ahead and start texturing. So I'm going to be using the wooden wall texture for this. And I'm also going to add another texture and use the sort of house, um, house roof texture. So we are going to need to make this. So I'm going to call this house roof texture. Come over to the shading, control shift T because I've got the node wrangler enabled. And I'm going to go ahead and go into my textures and select my thatch. See if it brings it in. There we go. So that's brought that in. So I'm come back to modeling. Now I'm going to go into the UV editor and then I'm going to sort out these here. So I'm just going to go ahead and unwrap these. So I want them to be a fair size. So that one looks perfect that size. So what I'm going to do is by selecting each one and then I can go into the side panel here, line these up. And this is just a good way to get them matching, really. Well, the size-wise, anyway. So now that they're matched size-wise, I can bring that across and stick it there. And we are going to, like I said, re do another texture on this. So that's looking okay. But I may need to bring that over a little bit more. So I'm going to bring that to the end. Just like so. so I'm going to go ahead and do it for the rest of them and then come back to the video. And with that now textured, it's looking pretty good. So what I want to do is I'm just going to go ahead and select these two different parts. Control J and join them together. Come into the wireframe mode and then into edit mode and vertices. And I want to go ahead and weld these vertices together. So I'm making sure that I've got them all. So there we are. So now that's one big mesh. Let's do another save. And that's looking good. And of course it's unwrapped on the inside as well, which is exactly what we want. So I'm going to go ahead and add my modifier. So solidify. I don't want an offset, so I'm going to put it in to zero. Thickness one should be more than enough for this. Go ahead and apply it. 
that should be fine. So now I'm going to come into here and I'm going to select each of these surfaces like so, come into my texture and then assign the house roof texture. So now we've got a nice wooden underside and we've got a nice thatched outer side. So that will be fine for the low poly version. So I'm liking the look of that. I do need to adjust it just ever so slightly. Just that vertice there just needs to come in a little bit. And that side as well. I'll just bring those in like so. Make sure they're in. And then this wooden beam, I'm just going to make sure that goes right up to the chimney. Just like so. And just double check everything is in a good place, which it is. So I'm going to save that now. And what I shall do, I shall select both of these. So the underside and the upper side. So I may need to do them one at a time. Just bring that up. That no, seems to have done it fine anyway. So that's okay. So what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that roof. So I'll bring that over to the side there. And then that one that's selected, I'm just going to find it in here. So wherever it is, there it's right at the bottom. And then I'm going to go ahead and call this roof LOD underscore zero. So I know that is part, that is the low poly roof. Now I can go back to the high poly. First, I think we need to change it up a little bit. So we're getting a little bit of collision here and there. I'm just going to bring that down just a tad. There we are, we're not getting that, not as much. So I'll do the same with this one. Just so we don't get that stuttering that we get in there. Just gonna bring it down. And that looks a lot better. Now I can go ahead and pop this roof back into place. So I'm just going to put that down and then line it up. That's where it needs to be. So about there, I think it was. And that should be spot on. Put a quick save down. And then for the roof here, I'm just going to go ahead and select each of these. And I'm going to just go ahead and make them the own little selections, including the back. And then I can go ahead and start editing these. 
So I want to add probably about four cuts and four cuts that way. So maybe one more in between. Just so they're nice and square. So I'm going to do the other side. So four cuts, four cuts. And then a single cut. Just so I'll get a nice square there. And I'll do the same for those. That looks okay. So I'll keep that as that. Keep those that as well. I'm going to go ahead and finish these off and then come back to you. So now they are all, all done. So you can see they're all done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get, again select here. Faces, I'm going to select that. I'm going to subdivide that. I'm going to do it by 10. So I've got quite a bit of geometry to work with. Just like so. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of them, then come back. Right, so they're all nicely subdivided. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and come to my modifier and then come to displace. And I'm going to create a new one, a new texture, and call this patch. Just so I know what it is. So coming into here, I'm going to go to my open, and then I'm going to go ahead and select my thatched roof. It's this one here. Then I need to come back to the modifier, and then I can go ahead and see what's happened. So instead of local, I'm going to go UV or maybe object. No, I think UV is going to be better. Uh, definitely do the normal. And the strength is going to need to be turned right down. So I'll just turn it down just a bit. just play around with it so that so 0 0.2 so that gives it that kind of bumped effect which I think looks rather okay so it's going to bring that in just a little so it really makes that kind of stand out So it does need a little bit more work. So it's just going to be a case of playing around with this. See what looks better. So the z-axis looks quite nice. Let's try the y. I think z looks about Right. Yeah, local space, definitely local space. So that looks okay, although I think he's going in the wrong direction. So maybe. Just keep playing around with it and see. What I get, although I think normal looks about the best. So I may need to turn that down. Yeah, so I think 
think that'd be fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same for all the rest of them and then come back. And now with those done, you can see it just gives it a little bit more of a, a bump to it. So from a distance where you're gonna see it from about here probably, you see it gives it that nice little bit of a bump. So what we'll have to do now is I'm going to go ahead and apply all those modifiers. So just go ahead and apply them all. And then I can go ahead and re put them all together. So the modifiers all together and making sure they're all applied. So I select all those and those as well. Control J. So they're all joined up again. That's looking pretty good. So what I do want to do is I'm going to just select this one here and this one here as well. So I'm going to do a quick duplicate of those and I'm going to bring those back to about here. So kind of in the middle. Squeeze that down just a little bit. And they can come out just a little bit. And what that does, that just hides that kind of seam that we had there. So it's looking good. So again, I want to do kind of something similar for the sides here. But what I do for these, these sides, I do something a little bit different. Uh, does the back need to be done? Yes, it does. Okay. So what I'll do, I'll do the back first. I'm just going to press L, select, it doesn't matter, just selecting one of them. Uh, Shift D. Of course, I'm going to bring that across to the middle. And then just resize it. I'm going to bring it up a little bit. So again, hides that seam. As you can see, it's in that seam. And it gives it a little bit more depth. So the, for these bits that come down here, what I'm going to do is come into my mesh and I'm going to do a cylinder. So I'm going to come to the front viewport and I'm going to go to the view. So we've got this nice cylinder. Uh, it's probably about the right amount of geometry. So I'm just going to come in and I'm going to get rid of this. So but the same way I did the tiles for the chapel, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those vertices. Just so I've got this, this nice sort of shape here. And then with that and that selected. E and an S and then bring it in and down, come into the top and then sort these out. So just like that. So it won't need a bit on the inside. So I'm just going to leave that as is. I will need to make it a lot thinner. So it needs to come down to about here probably. And it can be fairly wide. So I'm just going to bring it down again. Just like that. So it's not 100% flat, but it's almost flat. 
And then what I'm going to do is on the surface of this, I'm going to put in quite a few cuts. So again, four. And see, these have become rectangles. So what I'm going to do is put in another one, probably. Yeah, just so they're more, more squared. So again, I'm just going to go ahead and select top there. Subdivide by 10, and then I'm going to do another deplacement on that. So I've got that now. I'm going to go ahead and put my displace on it. Use my thatch. And then make sure it's on UV and the normals. And let's have a little look at that. Yeah, so that looks okay. So I just wanted to check it before, make sure it looked okay before I added any texture. So what I'm going to do is add the texture. So it needs to be that nice thatched roof. So house roof. It's kind of going in the right direction. What we'll do is uh, I'm going to flip that. So RZ 180 just so it's easier because you know it would be going in the right should be in the right direction anyway. So I'm going to bring that up to the top. I'm just going to do a little bit of a rotate just so it's in the middle. Bring that over. And it is going to need to be a little bit thinner, so I'm just going to make it a little bit thinner. Like so. Let's bring it like that. Just going to keep on editing until it looks right. So that looks okay. I'm just going to come into the wireframe. So that would look fine. Okay, so now I can just go ahead and remake that very quickly. So I'm going to do that and then get back to you. Okay, now that's back in. The reason I remade it was simply because it's easier to manipulate it when it's a basic poly, just like that. So what I'm going to do is now that that's in place, I'm just going to go ahead and run it right the way down. Kind of to the end there, making sure that it's in place. Of course, making sure that it is at the right angle as well. So right the way down to the end there. And that looks okay, like that. So I will need to bring that down a little bit more. I'm not too worried that it overlaps some of this it's just to hide that kind of edge so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a number of cuts again so four so I've got these nice cuts and I may need a couple more here and there so That looks about right now. So I'll just go ahead and pop in these cuts. Just like so. Just so these are more kind of more square. So that looks about right course. So 
gonna bring in this, bring that down a little bit. Okay. So I just select that. Make sure that I've selected all those. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my displace modifier on there. So I'm just going to use my thatch. And that's going to be minus 0 0.1 UV. Let's have a little look at that. So as you see, it's kind of made it a bit more bumpy. I may need to. Um, Bump that up a little bit more. Yeah. So, 0.7. Let's have a look at it textured. Again, this will take some time. There you go. And now we've got this nice kind of line that goes right the way down it. So that's looking good. And what it does, it just hides that little bit of a line. And I like that, so that looks okay. So I'm just gonna do Control D. And then I'm just gonna rotate it. Like so bring it over to this side just make sure it's in the right place and that's looking fine so I want to select the roof underneath and I'm just gonna go ahead and unwrap these parts You can come down actually. There you go. So that's come down. And then I can move those down a little bit. And then finally select these. Control J. So that's joined. So now with all those uh, joined up you can see it's made a big difference and the seams are no longer there which is great so I'm really pleased with that but I may need to just bring things back a little bit there you go so that looks okay so that's the roof and the house now complete so I move that over there So a lot of this will be just used and what I can do I can swap in the roof when I need it so you can see it's really nice so I've got a nice texture on that roof and it does actually look realistic which is cool so that's it for this video and for this series essentially be during uh, this series I've made quite a few things and there's still quite a few more things to make so, so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to publicly show those because the techniques are pretty much the same as what I've used here and in the chapel so I don't want to get too repetitive so I will record them but I just won't make them public if you did want to see them then feel free to message me on my page and I can provide you a link to those videos. Until then, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.